morning. This is Jody, Simply Stitching Ocala and welcome back to my channel, a channel about cross stitch and sometimes other crafts. I know it has been a long time since I've been on here, getting close to nearly two months, um, just life. Um, first I want to say hi Jeff so you can replay this. <laughs> so friends of ours, um, my husband's been friends with him since middle school when I lived in Jersey and he likes to randomly pull up at different times when we're in the car with them or traveling or hanging out with them just pull up one of my videos and get me to start talking <laughs> so thanks for that Jeff so I was just giving you a shout out um, so during the time while I've been gone um, my grandbaby Corbin turned two so they had a party for him, which was exciting. And another exciting thing, which I may put a video at the end or I may put a picture in here, we'll see, um, was we on March 1st got three bottle-fed cows um, that otherwise, otherwise, and well, let's just put it that we saved them. <laughs> um, it was two girls and a boy um, the girls' names, um, Sadie's Brown and White, um, they are both a Holstein Jersey mix, dairy cows, brown and white, and then Pepper is black and white. And then we did, unfortunately, have a boy named Bo, um, he was a Swiss Jersey, um, who only lived 10 days and sadly passed away. Um, so they are in our immediate backyard, probably until June. Um, we are just now in the process of, they're probably about, um, eight and nine weeks old now, I would say. We got them when they were one week and two weeks old. Um, so we were bottle feeding them a bottle in the morning at like 6.30 or 7, and the same thing at night. And now we're in the process of weaning, so they're, they're eating lots of grain, grass in our yard, um, alfalfa hay. So we're, um... They are down to only a half a bottle in the evening. So in the next few weeks, they will be completely off the bottle, which will be great. <laughs> um, we also went with a trip with our friends to Macon, Georgia, which was fun. So there's just been a lot of things going on. And to be honest, I just haven't been stitching as much. Um, you know, when you work, you have a limited amount of time where you can actually do enjoyment and crafts and such. And so I generally cross stitch at night, probably from eight to 10. <clears throat> but we've also done other projects on the weekend. We laid, oh God, I can't remember how many, like 300 feet of PVC in the ground we dug, like to bring water down to the barn for the chickens and the cows and then fencing stuff. I mean, it's just been a lot. So there's been a lot of times that I actually haven't felt like um, cross stitching. And then I also, um, if you're new here and you haven't seen a video before, I actually was a quilter for, it's, I've been quilting now for 20 years, but the last five since my mom passed away, I haven't quilted that much. Um, and I'm just now starting to get back into it. <laughs> um, thanks to my friend Felicia and Jess. Um, and also Allison, um, we talk on polo all the time about quilting and fabric and such also. So I'm actually doing um, a quilt along with them right now. So sometimes if I have free time, I don't always want to cross stitch. Maybe I want to quilt. So I will show that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, so I just didn't have as much to share. So I will share, um, I'll just share my one well, it was a whip and now it's a finish. <laughs> so I started, this is Penny Spring. And I started this, um, I think like February, like the mid February. And it took me almost two months to do this. <laughs> That's how much I have been stitching. Um, but I really like it. I changed the color of the house cause it was supposed to just be two different whites and it really wasn't showing up. Um, so I only did the white on the front and then, um, I can't remember what the color is I used, but um, I just needed it to show up a little bit more. So I'm not sure how I'm going to finish this yet, but these pennies going around took a long time. <laughs> um, but I'm super happy to have that finished. Um, 
and I actually started something new, which I'll show you in a minute. So another thing I stitched, which is super tiny because it's 20 count, is um, this is one of the, um, it's the, it's the monthly minis from Primrose. They have the 12 in the book and I just made it into a little pillow that's going to sit in my dough bowl. Um, yeah, and I used my own, yeah, I used my own colors, but it's really, really tiny because the, the stitch count is only a 39 by 39. So doing it on 20 count makes it a 1.9 by 1.9. So it's like a 2.2 inch stitch, but there's a lot of stitches in there for that little stitch. <laughs> um, but I did, I used my own colors. I used ladybug, sea shelly, green apple, silver fairy, and then the DMC I did use called for, um, for the 3820. But it's super cute. Um, I just now finished it. <laughs> so um, I can go sit in my dough bowl with the only other one pillow I have since I haven't really been stitching. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <coughs> Let me get a sip of water. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to mention during that time also that I had norovirus for... Really, I didn't feel 100% for like two weeks, but that first week, the first three days, anyways, I know a lot of people, it's been going around, but just horrible, 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 horrible. So that was another thing that happened to me in um, March, like the last week in March when we came back from our trip to Macon. Um, the only other finish I have is The Family by Stitching with the Housewives. And this is um, my friend Felicia. Actually, um, before she moved, we decided we were going to do this together. And um, so she got the board and um, the hook and stuff for me while she was at Hobby Lobby because they only had two. Um, and I did change, as you can tell, I did change the tape. It says um, established 1984 because that's when my husband and I got married. Um, on their chart, it says 2020. I'm assuming because I believe that's when Chelsea got married. But um, yeah, so this is, I already know the spot this is going to go in my family room above the jewelry that goes into my office because the other two jewelries have items on it and I have wanted to have um, something up there. I just hadn't done it yet. Okay. Um, whip. I only have one whip right now that I just started. So my friend Jess sent me, um, which was super sweet. She sent me the Hello Spring book by Teresa Kogut as a gift. Um, and so I really love this Stitcher Strawberry, super cute. And that's on one of Chantal 141 design boards. So I need to get that board. Um, super cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the date or not on it. The 1761. I don't know if that'll make it too like empty looking. I'll have to see when I get there. But, um, so that's the only, and I just started this last night. So that's the only whip I have. And I'm just using, um, I'm just using colors that I pulled myself from my stash. So, um, as I go along, I can show you more if anybody wants to know. I have it written down on my, um, floss card. And, um, I mean, I just, a lot of times I just, I just like to just, uh, I, I wanted to start something new. I know I have whips that I could work on, but I wanted to start something new. And so I just pull it and... I made myself these cards a while ago um, with the information that I wanted to keep on them. Um, and so, yeah, I just pulled something that looks similar. I am changing out um, this kind of brown thread that they have here. And I'm gonna do rain shower, which is that light blue gray because we all know that I love like blue aqua. <laughs> And, oh my goodness, speaking of that, hold on, I forgot something that I need to show you, and that just reminded me. Be right back. I'm back. <laughs> um, okay, so I can't believe I forgot to bring that in. Um, I signed up for Mrs. Jones. This is her second Mrs. Jones Stitches on um, Instagram, Holly. This is her second um, hosting... A stitch exchange on Instagram. I did one a while ago with her, which was just a friend thing. Um, anyways, and so we had to send our pieces out. I 
I forget, April, whatever it was, maybe it was April 10th. Anyways, I received mine yesterday and it is absolutely amazing. And um, I had already put it up in my bathroom. I have nothing, no cross stitch in my bathroom or my um, bedroom, which I would like to change. And I have like this really pretty shelf. Anyways, so I already had put it up in there and I already messaged her and I already asked can I share and she said absolutely. So her name um, is Joanne and I should have brought my phone to see what her Instagram name is. I can't remember, Joanne Palmer, I think. Um, I'll, I'll put it below. Anyway, so we the exchange was you had to do a small with a needle and thread. And so first of all, the presentation was amazing. It was in like this cellophane bag with crinkle and ribbon and two different aqua ribbons that matched it. And you do fill out like, what colors do you like? Or what, like you kind of fill out like a little card so that the person has something to go by if they want to for the exchange. So this is called Quaker Sewing Tray by With a Needle and Thread. And she finished it on this board. And she finished it on 36 count vintage navy bean. So for me, we know I stitch on Ada. But I love the look of this. She changed the colors because it was in reds. But after seeing my card and it says I love aquas, blues, she changed it. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Like this is the color of my vanity in my bathroom, which is why it's in the bathroom. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Even the back. Look at the back, people. I mean, it is so gorgeous. Um, and the presentation, like I said, I'll probably put a, I'll probably have a picture of it in the video at the beginning, but it just, it's so pretty. And so for someone like me who just appreciates like the 36 count, but can't stitch on that, it's just awesome to have this piece. And it's a beautiful piece. Um, Okay, and so not only did she send that amazing gift, she sent um, Ghirardelli chocolates that were in blue and aqua wrappers. <laughs> and she's like, I know you put you love Dove chocolate, but I couldn't find them. And I'm like, I just love chocolate. I mean, that is my favorite. But she also then sent me, <clears throat> this is 20 count Atomic Ranch she sent me a whole 17 by 26 piece of um, Weatherstone Atomic Ranch 20 count. And she sent me scissors. These scissors. And the thread just fell. She sent me, she used the, these are the silks she used. So she sent me these silks. Um, sorry. That, that's not really working. She sent me these silks that she used. And then she also sent me a pack of needles. Come on. Okay, see, that's like, I, I absolutely, absolutely appreciate it. That is just so over the top. It's so much. And I'm so thankful for it because I just, I, and it was one of those things too where you're not having a good day at work and then, after work and I get the mail and I was just like, oh my gosh. And I sent her a, a message immediately and then also made sure it was okay for me to share. I will make sure I put down her Instagram below. I think it is Joanne Palmer. Um, but I will make sure to put that below because she, I went to her Instagram because I was not friends with her and she does some gorgeous, gorgeous um, stitching. So I'll make sure to share that. So if you ever want to participate, I mean, I, I don't think... No, I don't think I showed mine because I stitched mine and then I had to send it off before I've done a floss tube. So if I have a picture, maybe I'll put it in the beginning and I sent some goodies also and some stuff I made. Um, but again, you don't have to send goodies, but they're so appreciated. So if Mrs. Jones, and I think she's going to continue to do it, if you don't follow her, go follow Mrs. Jones Stitches on Instagram. And um, when she puts it out there, as soon as you see that she's having signups, you need to sign up like right away because it, you know, 
it goes fast <laughs> as far as how many spaces, you know, because that's a lot for her to handle. And so thank you, Mrs. Jones, again, for organizing that and sending the emails and the reminders and all the things um, because it's a great way, you know, if somebody doesn't do retreats, um, doesn't have retreats near them, um, it's a great way to, um, you know, meet different stitchy people, like, because I didn't know of Joanne. So now I follow her and see all her gorgeous stitching. Um, another thing that I forgot to say in the beginning, thank you, Pam and Steph, for shouting me out on their video. Um, they're doing, like, they're doing shout outs for people that do floss tubes that are coming to StitchCon Weekend A, and I will be there. And um, they, they cracked me up because I live in Ocala and they weren't sure how to pronounce it. So they had, they looked it up It had the phone pronounce it, which I thought was great. And um, they talk about basically that I like to do a lot of retreats <laughs> also, which is true. This year is the year of retreats. I'm going to try to pull it back in next year. Um, I think I'm doing seven this year. So... Um, I'm, I'm doing the spring fling that's coming up in Cocoa Beach. Um, that's actually next week. I'm doing that next week. Then I'm doing Stitch Con. I'm doing Stitch Florida. I'm doing Stitch West in the fall. And Inspired Needle in the fall as well. So I still have a few more to go for the year. <laughs> um, and just a quick, so I'm just going to show you. So this, so I talked about how I was getting back into quilting. And, um, so with my friends, we decided that we are doing the pattern called Starly, which is by Cotton and Joy, right? Pretty most positive. I'll make sure I link it below. Um, and, um, we were going to do it though, not in the colors that the pattern is done in, but there's a conversion for patriotic using American beauty fabric. Um, and so... I forget, I believe when I counted there was over 100 pieces per block because the blocks are 20 and a half inches. So I'm gonna have to step back probably. So this is one of the blocks. And I have, so there's, there's 12 blocks. So it'll be three across next to each other and then four down. And like this then is another star and it meets up with whatever color so it'll be four different colors that make up that one star when it meets so it's a lot of work <laughs> for getting back into quilting but I absolutely absolutely love it um like I said I have eight of 12 blocks done um and I'm looking forward to getting them all done again it takes hours and hours and hours and hours <laughs> to get one block done and I only have so much time so hopefully I can get um Hopefully I can get that done soon. In, um, so let's go to haul. And again, I'm gonna preface it with, I'll have to link these below. So I wanted a um, ultimate travel, wanted an ultimate travel bag. And so how I found this woman was I searched the hashtag ultimate travel bag on Instagram and this woman came up and I was like, oh my gosh, she's made like, you know, I see multiple ones. I'm like, and her work looks amazing. Um, hold on. I was going to say, maybe I can pull it up on my phone real quick. Just, just so I have it there. So anyways, um, and I was like, but she doesn't have a store. She doesn't have um, she doesn't have anything and I thought well I'm just gonna message her and ask like I don't know how she does it so, and then she was like oh yes of course I, I do make them but she doesn't have a store or anything so you just have to direct message her on Instagram um, and I'm gonna probably butcher the name her name is Apun A-P-U-N and Eugen U-J-J-I-N and she's on Instagram and I'm gonna like see if that's too bright for it to catch it, huh? Darn. Anything about like this? No, that doesn't help. Anyways, I will make sure I link her below. So I messaged her about creating me a bag and I told her exactly the fabrics, you know, what I was looking for. And to say she knocked it out of the park. Oh my gosh. Um, so it is absolutely gorgeous. 
So this is um, lighthearted fabric. God, the light is here. This is actually aqua. The light in here is making it look weird. It's actually the aqua fabric background. It doesn't, this red is not so neon-y either. It's, it's dark. I'm not sure what's going on with the lights in here, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it has the feet at the bottom. She actually puts um, in the bottom, she has the piece of acrylic and she has it in a case that you can take out so that if you want to spot clean or you need to wash this, that you can take it out and take the acrylic out. Um, it is so well made. Like, I can't even begin to tell you how well made this is. It's gorgeous. And then she also, I love, I love, love, love the fabric strap. Some people don't make the fabric straps. They use strapping like webbing. This is how the pattern is actually called for. Um, she also included this cute little, I'm not even sure, like little trinkets hold some, you know, you could put like little clips in there, little things of thread, like whatever, depending on what you're using it for. Um, and then it has the webbing on the inside and it has, it has zippered hole pocket. And then on this side, it has pockets in it. It's just amazing. Um, and she was fairly quick, just a couple weeks to get that. Um, she may be busier now. I know I've sent some people to her um, already. Um, but at the same time, I wasn't sure, like I was looking for that. And a while ago I had showed my large Poppins bag after the All Things Winter Retreat last year. I had found um, gorgeous bags by Ursula on Etsy. So I'll make sure I link her. Um, and she had made the really large Poppins bag. So that's a lot of times what I take to retreats, but it's too large, like it's it's huge. It's too large, I can't bring it on an airplane. So but while I was still looking to try to find somebody to do the ultimate travel bag, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna contact Ursula and get her to make me a smaller Poppins that I can take on the plane. So this is also in lighthearted, but with a white background. And, um, so it has the metal at the top. So when it unzips, it's just, it stays open and it's super sturdy. Um, so it sits up like this. And then it has the whole inside all around our pockets. So this is also another great option. Like I feel like I have these to like, you know, depending on where I'm going, maybe I just take these two together um, but both of these can absolutely fit and be the um, the item that I take on the plane so super excited about that and then of course I was like well gosh I'm getting now I have thread all over me um, now I, I now I want like things to match so um, I made myself a retreat mat just kind of just kind of flew it together. Um, this is, again, lighthearted. I just used mini charms, which are two and a half inch squares, so they're already those sizes. And um, I used some Pellon fusible webbing just to make it a little stiffer. And I just did three pockets here, just so if I wanna stick any items in there. And the back is just, um, back is just, a solid lighthearted fabric. So I have a retreat mat to match. And then I also went ahead and made myself one of the thread catchers that I make so I can keep that on the table in the lighthearted fabric. <laughs> and I did, um, uh, so that I have the uh, talking, a uh, floss catcher. And then I did also to match, I can get it open a thread bed so that I am completely coordinated. I just, that, I mean, Bonnie, well, now it's just Camille. Bonnie and Camille has always been my all-time, guy. I just keep getting thread on me, has just been my all-time favorite fabric designers. Now it's just Bonnie. I mean, now it's just Camille, sorry. Um, but this lighthearted line is just my absolute favorite. So that's why I have all the things made out of that. <laughs> um, as far as haul, I don't, I haven't been buying patterns. I've been trying to be a good girl 
Um, I have just two floss packs, my floss fix from um, the Fat Quarter Shop of my monthly flosses that came in. And then the only other thing I have is I have some hauls. So I have my clubs. Um, so I have this, I don't remember which bunch this is, but this is Bee Stitch Me Gold Rush, which is a pretty color. And also um, Bee Stitch Me We Can't Elope. It's like an orangey. And then um, these were new releases for Fiber on a Whim for Market. So I got a fat quarter of Sapphire, which is a really pretty dark blue. Even though it's showing up lighter, it's actually pretty dark. And then also Moonstone. And then Color and Cotton. Um, I missed their I missed their pre-order to do all these colors, but then they had um, extras that they put out there. So th these are all 20 count, and they're literally just an array of all different like blue greens that they had out there. So, and I believe, so I, I feel like it's normally like between like the 15th and the 18th of the month that they will put a message on Instagram, Color and Cotton that is, and say like, it's live, extra um, club fabric. So that's because I'm not in their fabric club. I haven't been able to get in their fabric club, so I'm not in their fabric club. So that is how I usually get theirs is I just like, hopefully it's a time... <laughs> That I see it when I'm working or sometimes in my chat group with friends somebody else will say like oh it's live so that you can go and grab the fabric if you want it um, so yeah I know short and sweet not a ton of stitching but just wanted to pop on and say hi hopefully I'll be doing some more stitching here coming up in the future and um, doing a little bit of quilting. I'll make sure I put all the links below in case anyone is interested in the bags. Um, Apoon on Instagram, just make sure that you tell her I sent you um, so that she knows kind of all the specifics that her and I have talked about um, for, for that bag um, so that you can get the same thing. And I'll make sure I put all those links below. And thank you so much for joining. And I hope to see you back here again soon or hopefully at a retreat very soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.